Welcome back to Big Mouth and welcome to my reaction to Godzilla vs Kong, the first full trailer. Disclaimer, you ain't actually going to see the trailer here. So if that's what you want, go to YouTube, go to one of the bigger channels because um, I don't want my video taken down and I don't know if it would do or not. I haven't got the quality anyway. You wouldn't see very clearly. So let's just talk. So first of all, in a moment, we are actually going to read out the synopsis for this. But first, a round of applause to Warner Media and Legendary Pictures for agreeing to do this. A round of applause to Warner Media for breaking the release window. It was absolutely the right thing to do from the very off. And now the media and people like Nolan are very upset. But this was the right thing to do. We don't know if movie theatres will ever be viable or will be viable in the next five years. The world has changed and the industry must change with it. And the only studio doing this is Warner Media. Well done. Well done, Jason Keeler and Ann Sarnoff, for not bending the knee to these gangsters. Warner Media have broken the release window. They will not make as much money on any of these movies this year. So, in fact, the studios like MGM, Delane Bond constantly, are the greedy ones who won't release till they're guaranteed from $600 million to a $1 billion through a transfer, for, sorry, through a, a movie, I'm thinking football, but uh, via a release window. They want to make their $600 million to a $1 billion, right? And they won't release anything unless that happens. But that's the past. It's finished. It's over. Warner Media have seen the future and they're reacting to the future. And this time next year, they will be ahead of everyone else because they would have released their movies and they'll be a year ahead of everyone else. So well done, everyone at Warner Media. And the critics and the shitbags crying their salty tears, just ignore them. So this is the synopsis. Uh, for um, Godzilla vs. Kong, and I really like this synopsis. Legends collide in Godzilla vs. Kong, as these mythic adversaries meet in a spectacular battle for the ages. With the fate of the world hanging in the balance, Kong and his protectors undertake a perilous journey to find his true home. And with them is Gia, a young orphan girl with whom he has formed a unique and powerful bond. But they unexpectedly find themselves in the path of an enraged Godzilla, cutting a swath of destruction across the globe. The epic clash between the two titans instigated by unseen forces is only the beginning of the mystery that lies deep within the core of the earth. I really like this because what this shows you is this is not just about a battle between two iconic legendary creatures. King Kong, or Kong as they're calling him, is literally the hero of this story and his bond with this young girl, Mia, is brilliant. And now a lot of people uh, are critical of the first two movies in this franchise. I quite like the slow build up. I think it's been uh, fantastic. The writing for those other two movies, the casting, it has been awesome. And now we've got the big moment. It's a bit like um, Shazam fighting Black Adam in Shazam 3, not in Shazam 2. It's a slow build up. But when you get there, it will be worth it. It's a bit like Smallville when Clark and Lex are friends for the first few seasons. But when you get the kind of Superman versus Lex Luthor thing, right, it's so awesome and so worthwhile. It's not about a patient build-up. A lot of you members of the audience these days don't have that patience. I like the fact that King Kong has got this relationship with this human child. It's brilliant. And so, and there's a mystery here. And they're trying to find Kong's home again. So there's a lot more to this film than meets the eye. There's a lot more to this film than they're just fighting. Now, a lot of kind of toxic people trying to compare, jokingly, um, Godzilla versus Kong with BVS. But BVS had a lot more than just the fight. And that was important. That's why half of the people who saw BVS absolutely loved it. The smart side. And so... This trailer is brilliant. This trailer has a bit of a slow build up. You don't see um, Godzilla and Kong at the beginning fighting, but you see the build up. You see what's going on. And I really like that. But when that moment when Godzilla rises from underneath the ocean, it's absolutely 
fantastic. This is a brilliant trailer. You know what else I love about this trailer? Because it's something that BBS was criticised for with the Doomsday reveal. I still don't mind that reveal, by the way. Um, people lost their shit over nothing. Um, I kind of guessed he was going to be in it anyway, and a lot of us kind of thought the same thing. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's brilliant. But what I like about this trailer, as I was about to say, is that it doesn't really give away too much. There's a lot more to this movie than meets the eye. And I can't wait to see this movie. You can watch this. If you're obsessed with the theatrical um, release, then you can go to the cinema with your mask, social distancing, watching it where available. Some countries, I mean, probably like the UK, you won't be able to see it in the cinema. You have to watch it pay-per-view. That's the way it is. You have to roll with the punches. Us as a consumer have to roll with the punches, as do the studio. This was the right move. But I really did like the trailer. It... It kind of shows you the human element, but then it shows you Godzilla versus Kong. And you see a bit of the fight, but not all of it. I think there'll be multiple times they fight, but it's it's a really interesting synopsis. It's a really interesting story. And I'm quite excited about this. You know what? Imagine being a Matrix fan this year, being a Kong versus Godzilla fan this year. Imagine being a Suicide Squad fan this year. Um, all these brilliant releases that we get to see thanks to the robust and robustness and bravery of Jason Keeler and Anne Sarnoff at Warner Media. When they actually announced they were breaking the release window, they were under so much pressure to bend the knee from the Hollywood Reporter, from Access Media. And they didn't because they know that the future of how we release these movies and watch them has changed. And just seeing this trailer and seeing how amazing this trailer is, is really, really exciting. So well done, everyone at Warner Media. Well done, Legendary Pictures. I know that Warner Media are paying everyone involved with these, 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 these different movies with this new release window, the money they would have got anyway, which is amazing. They're not going to make the money they would have done. But they've put greed to one side and put the consumer first and the future of their business second as well. But this is the future. This is the way it's going to be. And you're just going to have to roll with the punches. I want to know what you thought of the Godzilla versus King Kong trailer. I loved it. Five out of ten. No, what am I talking about? Ten out of ten. Why do I say five out of ten for? It's the, it's the excitement of the whole thing. But I want to know what you thought. What did you think of the poster? Why, what did you think of the synopsis? And what did you think of the actual trailer? Comment down below, like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with more videos. See you again soon.